As we all know, a jungler can control the pace of the whole team, so it is the core position in LV. However, sometimes we may find our jungler not strong enough, our jungle may get invaded, and our jungler may even be killed. Today, we are going to show you how to use a punish Mo Aya to become a guardian of your jungle. Tuition The core is to invade opponent's jungle. A punish Mo Aya doesn't take the jungle position. We still use Aya as support but choose punish as a talent. At the start of the game, we can counter jungle or harass the opponent jungler. As the saying goes, the offense is the best defense. In the early game, Aya's ability 1 has relatively short CD, so we can use it more to pull the opponent jungler and establish the advantage. Another core is to know where the opponent jungler is. Aya's ability 1 can be used to chat the grass. She is untargetable when her HP drops below 40% from taking damage. Hence, she is very suitable to counter jungle alone and continuously provide teammates with the opponent jungler's position. Doing so can protect the teammates on the lanes from being ganked. Even if Aya is caught, she can use ability 2 after transforming, jumping over the wall, and allowing her teammates to escape. Practical Tips To use the punish Mo Aya better, the harassment of opponent jungle in the first minute is important. Now let's watch a precious recording and see how the punish Mo Aya told her enemies. Bill Kukri at the start take the opponent's mind buff and try your best to harass the opponent jungler. Use punish to steal their monsters. It doesn't matter if you cannot make it. Go back to mid lane and help to push the line. Then cooperate with your teammates to take the opponent's sage buff. The torment of the opponent jungler has just begun. Repeat what you have done before. Invade their jungle every time their buffs refreshed. In the early and mid game, when the buffs are not refreshed, use punish punish to steal their monsters. After landing phase ends, keep following the core position. You can follow the jungler to defeat dragons and destroy turrets. Pay more attention to your shield. When the shield is about to disappear, refresh the shield in time. In the early game, constantly harass the opponent's jungle to make their jungler underdeveloped, and our team can easily establish an advantage. Equipment recommended. Let's see the build order of Aya. Start with Kukri and build Elemental Gem to add movement speed. Choose Flash Boost to reduce CD, upgrade Elemental Gem to Tidal Force Cleansing, and then build Virtuous Necklace for faster mana regen. After the Amulet of Longevity is built, Aya doesn't need to recall anymore, so she has more chances to help teammate push the line. Choose Frosty's Revenge as the last piece to slow enemy. Upgrade Kukri to Loki's Curse in the late game. At last, let me recommend a set of equipment that I usually use if you don't know what to build. Loki's Curse, Tidal Force Cleansing, Flash Boost, Virtuous Necklace, Amulet of Longevity, Frosty's Revenge. Loki's Curse can be built at last if the opponent have heroes with high HP regen, you can replace Loki's Curse with Tome of a Reaper. If you want to learn more tips on other UV heroes, subscribe to our channel.